the matchup is perfect. Wicked Heart Revealed plus Bobby's Brainwashing equal. Ha! Majin Seal. And if you also do that with One Who Loves Justice and King Yama Stamp. You shun ha Halo. What do these items do? Uh blast two and ultimate blast use half of the usual amount of energy. Majin Seal goes for Warriors of Evil. Halo goes to Warriors of Justice. Good or evil. Yeah. Sometimes I use this. I don't remember. And the halo actually appears on your character. It actually appears above their head. But hey, let's try this. And the dogs are home. I mean, and uh, my mom's home, so the dogs are barking. Yay. It's time for a battle with the great ape. Already. Alright. And yeah, smash attacks help. And abusing the light grenade. You sneaky bastard. Get off me. Leave. <coughs> oh man. Oh, don't tell me I'm getting sick. My mom uh, has a cold. So, uh, and I'm probably getting it. I hope not. And there's no Dragon Ball in that. Wow, how he bounced up that. Um, don't know if I tried to show that off uh, in the first game or not. I honestly don't remember, but you cannot throw giant enemies. Unless your character... <coughs> Excuse me. Unless your character has the, uh, the ability to do so. Um, such as... Uh, Yajirobe actually has like abilities like that. Yeah, um, his uh, what is it? Miracle Kablam Slicer. That attack should actually be able to uh, um, run through a giant enemy. Naturally, you cannot do um, like speed-based attacks on uh, on giant enemies, but yeah, with certain characters, you actually can. Man, that was not hard. Vegeta is hard. And speaking of Yajirobe, we just unlocked him as a playable character. I know, no fanfare. Hmm, maybe this is part of his Saiyan heritage. Why don't we get to actually fight against Piccolo as Piccolo? That would have been kind of cool. Anyway, um, oh hey, the guys are with me. All right, let's go up, down, up, down. Up, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Also, I didn't even know that you could actually uh, ascend and descend until like um, I got to the Namek Saga. But since this is our first time playing as Krillin or Yamcha or Tien. Or Yajirobe, since how we picked him up. Or Chiaotzu! Oh, yeah. You can actually play as any of them against General Tao. You know, and uh, you can actually show uh, what well, I can show any one of them off. I'm going with Krillin. Why? Because Krillin is the strongest right now. Oh, wait, no, I didn't show him off. But I am showing this. Okay, and I made a lie out of myself. You, um, you don't have to actually have a certain character fight in order for them to get experience points. If they're in your party, then they actually get experience anyway. It's split evenly. This fighting copies of yourself business is pretty weird. <laughs> How the heck did I get stuck with all this anyway? Yeah, why is Yajirobe here? I mean, I thought that you wanted out. Anyway, I'm going to try and match the computer with the same lineup, even though in all honesty, I probably ought to go for um, TN after Krillin. 
Save Chatsu and Yajirobe for last, unless you're good with them. And Yajirobe has no items equipped. So, let's go in here and hook him up. Flash forward to, uh, yeah, this is what I equipped him with, hopefully. And why didn't I give him another equipment slots plus two? Because I didn't feel like it. I probably should have. Then again, you'll Ready. get equipment slots plus three and four later. Alright, so rather than give you the whole fight as it was recorded, we're going for a montage. Why? Because apparently YouTube is giving me time limit issues again. Okay, seriously, this is like, what, 21 minutes and 40 seconds? Rejected. Video length is too long. Okay, well, forget you. So, we're back down to 15. Yeah. Just, uh, just to be fair, and uh, it, it's reasonable. Um, yeah, I can do cuts and split, uh, split scenarios, but whatever, that's not the point. Point of the matter is, now I can actually talk about the battle system. As you can see with uh, the counters uh, beneath uh, the eye lines, yeah, you actually have, uh, you know, depending on who you use, you might actually get more than the average three. Um, I think like Goku, Vegeta, Cell, Frieza, you know, if you have multiple transformations or if you have fusions, well, you know, you can actually use a certain amount of blast stock to actually fuse into whatever form that you're looking for. Like, you know, with Super Vegito. I don't remember the input combination, but you use that in conjunction with either Goku or Vegeta and have the necessary tag partner in uh you know in reserve then boom there you go you're fused good to go but yeah i am showing me game my butt handed to me you know it's only fair i mean because come on i didn't actually do a perfect run of this game so it's only fair to show me getting killed or you know Game beat up, if anything. Yeah, so I actually like that this is the first game that actually allows you to do five on five battles. Or you can actually be a bit selective and have it be, you know, like five on one. Like the Saiyan Warriors versus Frieza, or, you know, something like that. So that's, that's a good change. Heck, I. I also appreciate the fact that you actually have a whole bunch of moves that have been modified to actually fit how it went down in the anime, like Krillin's Expanding Energy Blast. If you've seen the anime, then you know that this is what he actually used to kill the Cybermen. Right after Yamcha got killed. Spoilers. Huh. Tien's uh, Neo Tri-Beam actually takes off a health bar for each blast. That's actually cool. I mean, it's detrimental, but it's cool and it actually fits. Heck, he's, even Yajirobe actually has some pretty cool moves, and Yajirobe wasn't in the first game. But, I mean, just. Heck, if you buff him the right way, he ends up being a pretty visceral character. I mean, he can do some damage. Now, I'm not quite sure. Dang it! There, oh, of course, there's stuff in the way. If you just do your charge uh, key blast, your uh, destructo disc, damn, that hurt. Then you can actually apparently go through objects, even though it doesn't actually damage anything. It just went through the floor um, in, a, in a piece that was cut. It actually went through the floor and actually hit my opponent. Okay. I'm glad that they at least acknowledge that, but come on. And Chiaotzu, despite being powerful, is actually pretty fast and capable. So yeah, he has given me a run for my money, but this is it. It's over. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with YouTube right now, but... uh yeah, just a quick update note. Yeah, I'm back down to 15 minutes on my own volition. 
you know, that that's my own decision. Why? Because I don't want to have to go through like 180 minutes or 100 and something minutes waiting on uh, an upload that won't even actually be accepted. So there you go. We're all clear. And we are all clear. We just finished this match. Stay tuned because you're getting two episodes. A and B. Or episodes three and four. Enough! I'm not going to fight! <laughs> if that's all you've got, you should just leave. I've got some serious training to do. 